team meet in the van. Look at that level 10 air cut. Air, I was gonna say. See you later. Oh! <laughs> Right, so morning guys, welcome to another Capriano Plumbing Heating YouTube video. Uh, we got six videos out last week, so it was good by the team. That was well, obviously reason being because Luke had been to his uh, call-up mat of the weekend. So I've just popped down to one of our projects starting imminently uh, in the next couple of weeks. So this project here is a full new build renovation. So we're looking at putting the floor heating in, uh, mini plant room, low loss header, all that stuff. There's a three, four bathrooms going here. I'm venting some, so I'm spinning you around and give you run through now of what the plan is i've popped down today just to obviously see where we're at with the project i did think the bill was going to be down but it's not here so we come into here now now this is having all on the floor heating put in here so you can see uh this is going to be our plant room here so the builders bought our cold main in there i'm looking at putting the boiler on the wall there so again we're going to apply private domestic hot water system installed in this one unvented cylinders going there underfloor heating manifold in here this will be lpg this one uh, because it's out in the sticks again it'll be septic tank and lpg so the also the builder was also installed a bit four inch and was ready there so when i get that pushed up to that end there and down there i'll have enough fall reason being he's done that <coughs> he's been caused part of me sorry <coughs> a bit of dust in my throat is because the toilet's going up there like i say so and you wouldn't have got that in in a full length i had to put new sockets in so before i've built the wall so if you can slot that in just thinking forward but we'll have a little walk around now so it'll be full underfloor heating going through here there's no radiators uh, no radiators downstairs underfloor heating all the way through there as well coming through here as well in there by the looks of it it's got all the king span ready to go so from today's visit i will be making the order straight away now for the underfloor heat and we'll pop up here and have a little look i tell you what it's a beautiful day as well so looking at that that is where the stairs are going to be but you can see now by the looks of it uh, final height so i think there's a couple bit more block work to go on the guy's doing a cracking job with this one bit more block work to go and then we'll start getting the trusses and stuff on as well but obviously we aren't doing that we're doing the plumbing so up here this looks like one of the master bedrooms with their ensuite in here oh it's not that big then is that it for some reason i thought it was big upstairs but it's not no that's it yeah so we'll be cutting all the cavity walls in once they get built but again a few radiators up here three i think there's two or three bedrooms going here i think i've got some plans actually which we can go have a look at now but yeah Looking forward to getting this one started with the team imminently in the next uh, couple of weeks. Jobs like this as well, we just always like to make sure that we do do a little bit of a check up, see where we're at with the job. So you can see there, this is going to be the kitchen by the looks of it. Not got plans with, but his builder's got drains in ready for us there. So yeah. But this will be a good project, this one, for the full team. We'll have the full team down here. Reason being, the amount of on the floor heat we've got laid will be hundreds of metres. Like I say, uh, we've just got to get finalised on the few little bits, what we need to get done, just in relation to a plant room as well. We've got to get that designed, which again is going to go into there. But yeah, uh, quick little sight survey done. Just seeing where that really, I think we're due to start this again in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to head up now. I've got Jordan from School Fix, one of the uh, top School Fix guys there, managers of works there. Quite a few bits to for him this morning. Going to pop and do a quick little site survey, see Luke on site uh, with Matty due to arrive shortly. So I'll uh, head up there, guys, and I'll see you go, very see shortly. What Luke is on with then. Literally working corner from the office. I think he's on with there. Uh, stripping out now. You can see he's. Luke? Hello? Now then. How are you doing? Hey, you got COVID? You can't get COVID, you're invincible. Oh, no. But you say you feel rubbish, right? Drinking that is no good. Well, I, I thought it might make, make me feel better. What, only? I'll give you a duel, though. You've lifted this cast bath up on your own. We'll get this out. You always have smashed them in bits. Yeah, I'm really can't believe it. You've done well lifting that, mate. No. It's in a haircut, isn't it? I'm just kidding. So, what are you doing down here? New shower tray going in? <coughs> shower tray, wet wall panelling, no sink. Like it. Make it easier for the customer. Happy days, mate. Happy days. And I like what you've done there. Ripped all the lead out, converted to copper. Yeah. Lever valve as well. No lever valve because the stop tax knackered, but it was only on the ball valve, so I slapped a lever valve in there. Happy days, mate. Nice one. You sound a bit ropey. I think you've been drinking yesterday. No. Nah. <laughs> <Not> cold, mate. <laughs> I don't drink Mate, you've killed me. Yeah, this bath's steel. It's a cast iron bath. Yeah, I lifted it up on my own. But 
If anyone wants it, it's in Hull. It's pink in it, look. Oh, it's a lovely. What is it? Artisan? Artisan? I don't know. That must be about 50 years old. I'm checking because that was that ever. But we've managed to lift that out in one go. Me and Luke, if that was upstairs, we would not do that. But fair play to you, Luke. Yeah, it's not that heavy, mate. <laughs> it's a plus 20 echo, isn't it? That plus 20 echo. Let's have a look. A cheeky little scar now. Give us a quick figure all the way around. Plus so 20. There's a scar that I didn't even know I had. I'll have to ring Matty and let him know that if Matty comes today. I've got his back. That's what I mean. Mate, You've got, got me. plus 10, plus 20. That's plus 30 level hardness. Oh. And bits as well. Look at that. Bone, beard trimmed and everything. So good. Three slash <laughs> Let's see you cut your face. <laughs> That is horrendous, mate. Yeah, but it's saved me nine quid. That's what you get for saying we do two for one. <laughs> it's more special, mate. Right, so and then I'm gonna pop to the. Uh, I'm gonna do one to pop Jones and then crack on there. You all go down here, right, mate? I'm good now. That's out my way, yeah. Sound nice one. Gangsters, what was that? Do that again, please. Do that again. What? What did you just do there? It's broke. Just show me. Oh, it's magic as well. Show me. What? Oh my god. Mate, move with the taps. Mate, no, <laughs> let's, let's be honest, I ain't like Matty and put everything on the company. <laughs> right, mate, so, got a couple little bits low key for you. Because we always like to look after the team, don't we? So I've picked you up a nice Tracer Depot marker. Sweet, that's the collection. And they're the Molly Cutters on You've seen them before, haven't you? Oh, the Ox ones, they're decent. Not bad, them, are they? Sweet. Stop I've got myself a pair needed, some, do you know what I mean? Stock up. Crap off like in the. Matt got a new spanner, I don't know why. What's that? I don't know, he's like, I need a spanner, I think that's what he's gonna. So he's bought that, so he just give me the 30 quid back. 28 quid that. I don't get that though, what's all that about? Oh, it's the knowledge all, isn't it? Why would you need that though? I don't know. Oh, it's Gucci, in the hood. I went to see Form Weekend, it's good as well, 3D glasses. Have you ever done that 4D experience? No. Mate, don't know, it's ridiculous. You're like in your chair, like getting thrown home like that. You cannot relax, mate. Fair mint them, I've got one look. So in my pocket here. See there. I've got the pencil. You've got the pencil as well? Yeah, I need a new one. You've got to get as well. Do you want the lead or? No, it's knackered. I've had this for about four years now and that is. Oh, I'll get, you, I'll get you one, mate, that's fine. They're mint, look at them. Look, I've had it that long. This was back when it was Acer, not oh, Tracer. Oh, my word. They are mint, them marker pens. They're so good to draw. It just oh, looks messy. Just get yourself a finger pen go tool session, get yourself a new uh, pencil, mate. Alright, lad. Yeah. He's saying that on camera, but when, when it cuts, he's going to be like, make sure you give him the money back. Of course, mate. I'm here. The Jordan's from School Fixes, and I'm looking tool, so I am one with service maintenance today, but I've got a bath panel to fit and a sink as well. So I think I'll grab the old, uh, what we got here, the old Vito Propec insulation bag, and uh, we'll get in. Need to get the water turned off. I reckon I'll be here for most of the day now, and then once I've got done here, lads are running up the road around the corner. Again, you might be able to see if you can. Our shop is just there. You can just see the little van there in the distance, just right there. Right, let's get in and go get it. So, basin's going to be changed. I've got a new basin pedestal, new taps connecting to the existing waste, uh, and the hot and cold shop, all of them to suit. Bath taps need changed as well. So, when I got told bath taps are being changed, I was a bit like, oh god, bath taps go one way or another. But you would not get a better installer than this. So, new bath panels going on. These taps sitting in the bath, so it was an absolute breeze to change. So. Happy with this one, so just like getting the nuts undone now, uh, get these took off. Preparation for the new ones, but one thing I do like to stress when I'm changing taps is the grubby marks at the leave. So inside, first things first, I'll check that the fire washers need to make sure I've got them out completely because I will be re-washing these and re-pacing them. Never ever do it. Done it back in the day where I've put them to old tap washers for I out the fan, but I keep plenty of spares in the van. So for what it is, why I've got it disconnected like that, just change the washer, it's just easy. So where the taps have been, scale marks, it does do my nutting, I'll be honest. So I like to get my Stanley knife there and literally just scratch it all off and clean it up. So when I drop my new taps in, it looks nice and crisp and clean. So just a bit of scratching like that and that's it. New taps are in now, good to go. Nice and solid. I uh, couldn't get my box spanner on them because a box spanner is a bit of a dodgy size for that. So I couldn't do them, but I got on my spanner and nipped them up. I'll just give the tap connectors a little quarter of a turn now, uh, make sure they're good to go. I've got a full new waste kit to put on this bath as well, but... <coughs> I'll get the taps done first. I want to get the water back on the property everywhere. So I'm going to get the ISO base and shortly as well. Uh, you can see there. So they've denzoed that there because it goes to copper. But I'm going to connect back to it. It tested it. It's sound. It's watertight. I don't want to stick a big bulk in the Calpan socket there for sake of it. You know, doing what it needs to do. So I'm happy. We're doing the straight swap on the sink. So I'm sure it'll look a lot better. 
ISOs I'll pop there. So I'll do a little POV now. So what I'm going to do is get these pipes cut up at this high level here. So again, I've drained all the water off. There will most probably be a little bit of surplus water here. Uh, you'll mostly see it come up now. But once I've got that cut up there, it's free for me to work with. And then what I can do is literally get these pipes, get it cut a little bit further down in preparation for insulation valves. Now when I install these insulation valves, I will make sure that uh, the face and the front, reason being is, when I say the front, a bit of an angle. If you face them towards the front, you've got to get them with a stubby screwdriver. They're an absolute nightmare. <clears throat> so I think in forward, I was putting it straight on. Again, you guys will be like, you're putting it straight on to paint you and clean the pipe. I'll be honest with you, in a situation like this, paint acts like a little bit of paste, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I've done it plenty of times, so it's good. It's only wearing new pipes and stuff that'll paste up. Big commercial fittings, 54 mil up to 100 whatever mil. You know you're going to make sure that you paste up and clean the pipe. But stuff like this, it's, it's more than adequate. It's totally fine. Like when you can't get in there, you've got to get a glandy. But I've got some new cutters, monument cutters. <coughs> I may always go to cutters. I do want to look at getting the uh, new Milwaukee uh, electric blade, but I had the old one before and I was very skeptical on it. I didn't really like it. I've seen PB's new, the new one. I think it's the Inox. So I think that's going to be investment in the next couple of weeks, definitely to uh, test that and see how it goes. Especially for that strip out we did last week of the scene where we looked like we took out that bomb or the egg, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it'll be mid flat just to cut water pipes and do all that. But that's not bad. I didn't want to start re and not being able to get my pipes. So again, just ready to go now. Get my uh, glandies set up. Nipexes, plies, whatever you want to call my com glandies, my little barco six inch. I'm just give these a good tighten up, ready to go. As soon as I've got this done, I can get the water back on. The reason I do this whenever I work in properties like this as well is I like to get all the water work done first, leaving everything to last. So I can have the water on and it can be on for a good few hours while I'm in the property. So if anything does happen, any mishaps, any pipes is hard to spring a leak or whatever, I'm there. There's nothing worse than turning the water off and then a bad mixture of completion. It ends up being you can open can of worms and it is a nightmare. So, a bit odd this one, the water being under the bath. I tried to turn the stop top on the front, but it wasn't working. The stop top up there wasn't working. So, again, just what we're going back to what I said earlier, putting service valves in a reasonable locations. Trying to get onto that service valve was a bit of a nightmare, but as always, got onto it. Just cranked the pressure on slowly just to make sure that the service valve, the bath taps, and the kitchen tap was fine. No, we don't want to put it on full bore, have an issue with them panicking. So, Working smart there, the best way to do it, I think. Team meeting in the van. Look at that level 10 head cut. Hey, I was going to say, see you later. Oh! I've had to come pull you out, haven't I? You, you can't drill the car up. No, no personal reasons, but you're here, Matt, fighting for it, aren't you? Yeah. So, yeah, he's a. Uh, Popped on now to give my hand to get this core drop. It was the old Morrisist diamond core tip drill. Drill, uh, 50 mil bit for our show waste there. Cause literally, that is the old show waste there. We're not going to use that. Is that lead or is it copper? I don't know, but it's getting pulled out of that <laughs> It's lead, I think. I don't know, it might be copper. It's, I think it's lead, mate. I've seen it Yeah, it's lead. We'll wheel that out there. It's doing a better drop in tackle. Anyway, so we so get this done for my that, that transformer's massive, there's no need for that. It's good power though, don't you? Yeah, you don't, you don't need it that big. Yeah. It's pot solid that next. It goes outside in metal. This is like a proper proper plumber. Ah, yeah. Yeah. This is gonna be the uh, thumbnail job, thumbnail picture this way. Hold it there, look at me. Wants to go, doesn't it? He's trying, isn't it, mate? This is the look up plumber in the dictionary, you all just up there like that. Mate, you put a bit of tin on, aren't you? Yeah, man. You better if he was in hot water, you know. The comments tonight will be why he was not his set of cowboys. You okay going away? Fuck away. I know I thought it was swelling. Come on, give it some man. Imagine you look like I'm pulling it back. I'll get wet back out of what? Mate, you're getting me now, though. Uh -huh. 
You're trying, innit? Yeah. Do you hear it? No. You sort of get feels in the plunge like that though. <laughs> <laughs> it was gaggling though, I thought you said it was swelling. It's, it's not the worst bait in the world. Yeah, I know, because you can't get a good finger, can you? Try that again, do all that fast finger, that's quite good. Oh, bath panel time. Which tradesmen should be doing them? Plumbers or joiners, but this one here, I've cut the uh, I've cut the side plan down now, obviously to get the end panel cut down, but it's one of the flimsy ones which aren't too bad to be fair. Uh, they cut well, so I'm gonna get this marked up now. We'll get it cut down, bullet it's all slow speed setting. Guys, back home. That panel was a nightmare. Didn't bother get much footage on the end of it, so I'm not gonna apologise because uh, it's a back panel. But we're back home now. Gonna get a little bit of training. Do a little bit of circuit training there. Let's run the time wildly. So bag, rope, wrists, rope, ab roller, and I do like to use my time uh, wisely. It's been a productive day. I'm tired. It's been a bit of a weird day to be fair with the team. A few things uh, have happened, but nonetheless, we are. Uh, keep moving forward we've got someone new who's starting the business as well so all will be revealed this week so keep doing that uh, tomorrow me and matt have got an early start half past five in the morning we need to pop to one of our commercial sites to get some commercial pipes like there uh, we've got a couple of three inch heating mains that need lagging that are external so that's the plan for half five in the morning pick up with matty and then i'm picking george up he's going down with and then matt darcy and luke are going down to finish the bathroom that they're on with and me and george have got about 14 radiator valves changed new expansion vessel on the system so as always guys appreciate the sport respect the hustle respect the ground like i'm not even going to say like comment subscribe you know what to do and if you are make sure you go train see you tomorrow peace.